The Storm Alert Center we go. We kind of like it when the weather is so uneventful that, David, you get to show us pretty pictures. Uh, yeah, just uh, a lot of moon shots. Yeah. That's what we're going to show you. Yeah, hazy, near full moon. Full moon is actually tomorrow night, but we've got this beautiful, it had kind of a reddish, orangish glow to it because of the smoke that's in the atmosphere. And I wanted to see some pictures of it, and I know a lot of you have really cool cameras. So here we go. It's a hazy, near full moon. Uh, this is from Charlotte in Tiftonia. Uh, got a good close up there. Love this shot from, I'm probably going to mess up the name. I'm going to go with Magali Delgado in Ultawa. Another beautiful shot shot of a clear sky and the moon in the background and there is the moon from Kim Cope. She uh, took that picture in Rossville and I'm loving this one from Mark Herndon in Big Ridge who said in his message that uh, he uh, took this from 238,000 miles away from Big Ridge according to Alexa. So give or take a mile, I bet he's right. Uh, Vipercast showing the smoke still very, very heavy. Uh, all of this swath of pink indicating extremely dense smoke rising up into the air. This is the source of where the fires are in North Georgia, parts of Nevada up into Oregon. Uh, we're going to see that smoke continuing to move eastward. Now let's forecast out what we're looking at for tomorrow. Going into Friday, we're still looking at some fairly moderate levels of smoke through tomorrow afternoon. So through a loose at least 2 to 30 as far out as this model goes, we're still looking at some pretty hazy conditions and I think that's going to last into sunset over the weekend. We should see some of this dissipating. Hopefully they can also get a handle on the wildfires and that would help obviously a lot as well. Hot, humid and hazy. We're going to be muggy with some spotty showers over the weekend, better rain chances and higher heat late next week. 91 degrees the high in Chattanooga, exactly where we should be, and our sky watchers concurring with low 90s up and down from Dayton and Dunlap to Riceville, Delano, Turtletown, 82, 90 in Spring City, 89 in Murphy, 91 in Red Bank, up into Soddy Daisy. Al said it was 91 degrees. Chatsworth at 91, 92, Somerville, Scottsboro, 92 as well. Right now, it is a nice cool by comparison, 80 degrees, all the way down to 76 in Cleveland, 67 even in Murphy, North Carolina. Getting out doing some gardening tomorrow, you're going to have very similar conditions, hot, humid, that hazy uh, uh, smoke is going to be with us through the day, and that could cause you some problems with watery eyes. If you have breathing issues, you might want to limit your outdoor activities, even in the valley, as you make your way through. So Vipercast not showing much out there. Clear skies. This is just showing the clouds and the rain. Doesn't look like we'll have much of either through the day tomorrow. We'll move on into Saturday very quickly, just to show you maybe a couple of isolated sprinkles popping up. I don't think you're going to see much, but east of Chattanooga, up toward the Blue Ridge, you might see a couple of showers on Saturday. Most of you will be rain free on Saturday. And then on Sunday, slight chance of a couple of spotty showers late in the afternoon and the evening hours. And then as we move through the day on Monday, and maybe a couple of showers Monday as well. As a matter of fact, the rain chance just a little bit higher heading into Monday. Look at those highs in the low 90s. Heat index will be in the mid 90s. Uh, we'll have chance of showers a little bit higher Monday and Tuesday, and then we take the rain chance out as we ramp the temperatures up a little bit more mid 90s on Wednesday and Thursday. The heat index, Greg, by the way, next Wednesday and Thursday expected to be 100 degrees. Yikes. Yay. Thanks for the warning.